For the Issei, or first-generation immigrants and their children, the Nisei, dark clouds soon rolled over their lives as the nation of Japan attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. As the smoke still rose from Pearl Harbor, squads of FBI, military police, and local police started arresting Japanese on the FBI custodial detention list across the territory of Hawaii. They were very disturbed that uh, father was taken away. At least 400 individuals were incarcerated from Hawaii Island. Neighbors treated us differently, you know. They felt like, well, we were spies. He went to Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Livingston, Louisiana, and uh, Santa Fe. So he was in three different places before we finally he joined us in Jerome. Dearest wife, Tomeo, and my nine children, I say, please do not cry out in sorrow if I were not able to return home now that my destiny has dictated me to be the little stone to be spared for the good of the country, I can only pray that you will live safely and happily with support from our children. It was said. I'm sorry. Don't wish that on anybody. They committed no crimes. Yet they were imprisoned by the U.S. government. Their arrests and incarceration were motivated by racism, fear, and the failure of political leadership. These are the untold stories of Hawaii Island.